Hello everybody, I'm Sam. And I'm Nico. And today we are going to talk to you about how to fly your DJI Inspire 1. So here we have our Inspire all set up, everything's connected, ready to go. But first we need to go through our pre-flight checklist. The first thing on that checklist is safety. Make sure that when you uh, fly this, you're in a safe location, something away from crowds, obstacles, high voltage power lines, anything that can harm someone's health, property, or the Inspire itself. Safety is key. That's right. Right now, many governments are still trying to figure out how to regulate these machines and what kind of rules should be in place. But currently, most pilots and enthusiasts have a good reputation in their community. Mm -hmm. So do your part to uphold that reputation. Stay smart and stay safe. Exactly. Next up on our checklist is making sure that the batteries are fully charged on all your devices. To check the charge on the Inspire or the remote, just hit the button on the battery or the remote to see the levels. Also, make sure your propellers are on nice and snug. You can look at the little icon on them to make sure you're twisting them in the right direction. Mm -hmm. And also with your camera, make sure that you have the ND filter on there if you need it, and your SD card inside as well if you want to record video. First, start with your controller. Click once, and then click again and hold for three seconds. That's how it turns on. Same thing with the Inspire. Press once for one second, let go, and then hold down for three more seconds. It'll turn on as well. All right. Make sure you're doing this on a level surface as the gimbal for the camera will have to calibrate itself. When turning on the Inspire, you'll want to wait for it to connect to at least six GPS satellites before taking off. If using the app, you'll see a satellite icon with a number next to it. When it hits six, you're good to go. Also, there's a light on the back of the Inspire. When that light blinks purple, it means you have a GPS lock. And now there is one last step, and that is calibrating your compass. Inside each Inspire is a very sensitive compass, and depending on the location you're flying it, you'll need to recalibrate it each time. It's very sensitive to electromagnetic interference. So to calibrate your compass, all you need to do is open your DJI Pilot app, hit the Mode button, hit the Calibrate Compass button, and then hit Start. You'll notice the light on the back of the Inspire will turn blue. Spin 360 degrees with the Inspire level. The light will now turn green. Put it nose down, spin another 360 degrees. Don't get dizzy. The light will turn off and go back to blinking purple. Now the compass is calibrated. So to take this thing off, Nico will be piloting and I'll be using a second control uh, for the camera. On the top left of your controller is a little switch. If you put that into its top position, that's GPS mode. If you put it in the middle or bottom position, that's attitude mode. What is the difference between GPS and attitude mode? Well, in GPS mode, the Inspire is constantly getting a GPS coordinate from all the satellites in the skies, and basically it's keeping it steady in the air. It's keeping it locked into that position. However, because it's doing that, it's constantly going to be compensating for its momentum to keep it in that position. Now, when in attitude mode, it will no longer be locking onto GPS satellites for the positioning. Therefore, if there's wind pushing it in a direction, it will drift. Or if you're flying it and let go of the controls, it will continue with that momentum across. There's pros and cons to each, and usually the pros of attitude mode is you get a slightly smoother flight since it's not always compensating for its coordinates. However, GPS is safer because if you let go of the controls, it will stop itself and lock in that position. All right, so make sure your Inspire is on a flat and level surface. In order to take off, you're gonna take your sticks, you're gonna move them to the bottom inside corners. Here we go. Let's do this. All right. In order to raise the landing gear, you wanna hit the transformation switch up. The left stick on the uh, controller will control the throttle up and down, and it will control the rotation moving side to side. The right joystick on the controller will control the forwards and backwards motion, as well as side to side. Let's bring it in. So, upon landing, you can lower the transformation switch to bring the landing gear down, or you can let the sensors underneath do the work for you, and they'll sense when the ground is coming close and lower them automatically. You can do this. Before you power it down, make sure you cut your shot if you are still rolling, and just simply push, pause, Hold. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video on how to fly your Inspire. Once again, make sure you stay safe and stay smart. Find a beautiful open area to fly it in and get some fantastic shots. Enjoy.